Ladies and gentlemen, if you clicked on this video, chances are you have a final coming up and you want to get an A+. Well, you've come to the right spot. My name is Colin and I'm a student at Yale University studying computer science. And in this video, I'll teach you how to ace all your final exams with ease. Whether you have a final in two weeks, in five days, or even tomorrow, this video is for you. I've probably taken more than 100 final exams in high school and what I can tell you is that acing your exams doesn't have to be so complicated. All you need is the right mindset and the right strategy. So the first thing you want to do is fix your mindset and there are three key things you must do. The first thing you want to do is stop panicking like a nerd. Relax. You need to manipulate yourself into thinking that you are an academic weapon until you truly believe it. So you need to start having the mindset that any exam is doable as long as you study smart and put in the hours. The second thing you want to do is organize your brain. Listen, if you feel overwhelmed because there's so much content you haven't studied and you don't know where to start, relax. What I want you to do is create a Google Doc and then first list out all the content you need to study. List down all the topics your exam will cover. Guys, don't go and memorize chapters you don't need to know unless you want to, of course, or have too much time. But if your goal is simply to ace your final, just study whatever will be on the test and usually your teacher will tell you. But if it's not clear enough, then don't be afraid to ask your teacher or ask in person. Then create a list of all the resources you have to study. So for example, maybe you have three past papers that you want to do. Maybe you have your class notes, you have your homework and past quizzes that you can use as review. So I want you to list down all the resources you have to study. And when you do this, you'll feel much more relaxed. Now, the third thing you want to do is make studying fun. So for example, if I'm taking an exam that has a lot of key terms like psychology or neuroscience, I'll create some flashcards on Quizlet. And I'm treating my study sessions like a game where I'm trying to get as many questions right as fast as possible. And it's honestly pretty addictive in a good way. Also, you can try make studying fun by taking practice papers and timing yourself. So for example, if you're doing a math practice paper, the first time you're doing the paper, it'll usually be a bit slow and that's okay. But after doing it two or three times, you'll get much faster and you can complete that whole practice exam in 10 minutes instead of the one hour they give you. Guys, once you gamify your studying, you build that muscle memory and understanding. And that's how you make studying fun and effortless. With that said, the next thing you want to do is create a study plan. So the first thing you should do is create a priority list on your most important study resources. For most of you guys, practice papers will be at the top on that list. So if you have practice papers from your teacher, you want to finish that first. And you want to make sure that you completely understand how to solve all the questions. Because most likely your exam will be the same or at the very least, almost the exact same as the past exams. So if you have a week to study, you want to use Monday and Tuesday to finish all those practice papers. And then maybe later in the week, you can do things like watch the lectures again or review your previous homework and quizzes. And then on Friday or Saturday, you can do your flashcards. So you want to create a study plan where by the end of each week, you're done reviewing all the important resources you need to study. Now, you also want to implement Parkinson's law. Parkinson's law increases your productivity by setting goals and deadlines for yourself. So for example, if you want to study for your math final, you don't want to give yourself an entire Monday to study. Simply give yourself two or three hours max to study on that Monday. Because if you give yourself too long of a time span to study, you're gonna end up wasting lots of time. Guys, what's most important is when you study for those two or three hours, you need to be fully focused. Put your phone on airplane mode or leave it in your room when you're studying. Or maybe go to a nice cafe or a nice place where you can fully focus and lock in for two hours. And what you'll find out is that when you give yourself less time to study, you just naturally study more effectively. Your brain just works better and you can solve questions faster. So use Parkinson's law to your advantage. Now, another thing you can do is read your notes before you sleep. This method is usually most effective three consecutive days before your final exam for five to 10 minutes. So if you have an exam on Monday, you wanna do this on Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. Usually when you wake up in the morning, your first thought will be what you watched or what you read last night. So you wanna program your brain where you're inputting your study material before you sleep. And when you wake up the next day, you'll feel much more comfortable with the material. It almost works like magic. Also, when you're reading these notes, you don't need to write notes or highlight stuff. Of course you can if you want to, but I would highly just recommend reading it as if it were your favorite nighttime book. Also, clean your diet. Guys, when you're studying, perhaps the biggest problem you're gonna have is that you can't focus. And the biggest reason why you can't focus is because you're eating like trash. If all you're eating is processed foods, sugar, and carbs, you're gonna get lots of brain fog. And that's gonna make your brain really slow and sleepy all the time. So you wanna try your best to eat more clean and you'll find that studying just becomes much more effortless. Also, drink plenty of water. It helps increase your concentration and also enhances your short-term memory when you're doing things like practice papers. So what should you do on the morning of your final? First things first, don't eat too much. I wouldn't recommend having lots of sugary foods like cereal, for example, in the morning. Because if you eat a lot of sugary foods in the morning, your brain will crash later on. In fact, if I'm having a final in the morning, like 9 or 10 a.m., I don't eat at all. Maybe I have one banana, but that's it. Now, if you have your exam at night or in the afternoon, of course you want to eat. 
but you also want to try fit in a 20 minute nap or even like a gym session just to boost your energy and get your blood flowing. Also, maybe listen to some music. For me, I really enjoy listening to lo-fi beats and house hits that are high in frequency. But honestly, listen to whatever makes you more relaxed. Remember, if you've studied hard and followed all the steps in this video, I have zero doubt that you guys will ace your exams. But that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys got lots of value from it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to be part of the family. Also, follow me on Instagram right here, at Colin Jenis. As always, God bless the hustle. We're all going one day, and I'll see you in the next one.